Welcome to the W Quarter YouTube channel where I'm going to be starting a new feature each month where I predict the winners of all the WWE pay-per-view matches. This month I'm starting with the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam. It's four hours long, ten huge matches. The first match is Stephen Amell and Neville versus King Barrett and Stardust. This is one of the matches that I'm looking forward to the most on the card because you don't know what to expect from Stephen Amell. Neville, you know he's going to be bring that high energy, aerial offense, motor that can go. King Barrett, he's going to be physical, he's going to be dirty, he's going to cheat if he has to. Stardust is kind of out there a little bit. Good wrestler, third generation superstar. The way that I see this match in is that I believe that Stephen Amell will get the pinfall victory over Stardust. The next match we're going to be talking about is the match that I think will steal the show. I think there will be a lot of back and forth action, some false finishes, and it's Kevin Owens and Cesaro. I think Kevin Owens will win the match after a pop-up powerbomb, but I think that Cesaro is still in line for the bigger push down the road. A loss here does not hurt Cesaro, but a win does more for Kevin Owens in this match, and that's why I think that he will win the match. The next match we're going to be talking about is the Divas Tag Team Elimination Match. The Bellas and Alicia Fox versus Team Bad versus PCB. I believe Team Bad will win this match because they've got the most athletic Divas on their team. Naomi and Tamina. Both should be Divas Champions by now. Sasha Banks is definitely going to be a future Divas Champion down the road as we've seen where she made Nikki Bella tap out this Monday on Raw. That's who I think will win this match. I... The next match we're talking about is the Intercontinental Triple Threat Match. It's a triple threat match which means that there's no disqualification. It's going to be right back taking on Big Show and taking on The Miz. I think The Miz will be taken out early in this match and not be much of a factor. It will be basically a one-on-one -on -one match between Ryback and the Big Show. I think Ryback will win the match clean after a big shell shock in the middle of the ring and he gets the 1-2-3 over the Big Show. The next match we're talking about is Bray Wyatt and Luke Harper taking on Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose. This is a match that could definitely steal the show. I think there's going to be a lot of physicality, a lot of big spots in this match. I think Reigns and Ambrose win because I think that they have the most to gain from a win. Roman Reigns, I think within the next year, should be elevated up into a position to be the World Heavyweight Champion, and I think Dean Ambrose should be moved up to be a main event player as well. Bray Wyatt and Luke Harper should definitely be moved up and have big pushes too. The WWE, just for whatever, for whatever reason, does not seem to be able to book these guys very good. Roman Reigns has definitely improved a lot with his in-ring ability. I wish that he would not repeat moves a lot as we've seen in his match last night on Raw. He went for the clothesline, I believe, way too much. That's maybe being a little nitpicky. But I think he's improved a heck of a lot on his in-ring ability. They've kind of dropped the ball in this whole Bray Wyatt feud with him with working on his promos. I think the dude can cut a decent promo. I it's not going to get better if they don't give him the opportunity to. I don't know if he had any good opportunities on SmackDown. I'll admit, I don't watch SmackDown. I watch Monday Night Raw. If anybody's known over the last month to him to have a very good promo on SmackDown, let me know in the comment section down below so I can check it out for myself. But I see, them, but I see Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose winning this match. The next match is the Fatal 4-Way Tag Team Championship match. I think this will be a good match. They've got a lot of different styles. I don't think the Lucha Dragons or Los Matadores will end up winning this match. I think they'll kind of end up canceling each other out. And I still see the primetime players walking out as the WWE Tag Team Champions. This next match is a match that was made this past Monday night on Raw. Randy Orton versus Sheamus. 13-time former world champion Orton taking on the former champion and Mr. Money in the Bank Sheamus. Randy Orton is the kind of guy that can end the match just like that with an RKO out of nowhere. It's going to be a very entertaining match, back and forth. Could possibly be a show stealer, but I see Sheamus winning the match in the middle of the ring, 
after a big broke kick. This next match, I think, features one of the best talents on the roster, a guy that should definitely be a main event player, Dolph Ziggler taking on Rusev in a match that was made this past Monday night on Raw. I think Lana and Summer Rae will be out there. They'll get into a scuffle as well. But I see Dolph Ziggler beating Rusev, and I hope this match will move him back up and be a main event player. He's bigger than the Intercontinental Championship right now. He needs to be in conversation for being a WWE Champion down the road very soon. The next match we're going to be talking about is the WWE World Heavyweight Championship United States Championship Winner Take All Match. John Cena versus Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins, this could be a breakout match for him. It could be one of his best matches that he's ever had. I've never seen anybody really have a bad match with John Cena. The dude can have good matches. I do not like the John Cena character. John Cena as a person is fine. John Cena as a character needs to be have a boost. He needs to turn heel. And it will boost his career. It will give him some longevity in his career. I don't know if that will happen in this match. I don't know if it will ever happen. But for the love of God, please, John Cena, turn heel. The next match features two of the biggest ass kickers in the history of the professional wrestling industry. The Undertaker taking on the Beast Brock Lesnar. The guy who ended the streak, a streak that should have never been broken, a streak that should have never ended. It was a travesty that that ended, but I think that The Undertaker's coming back. He's going to get his revenge over Brock Lesnar. It's going to be a brutal match, not for the weak at heart. It's going to be a slobber knocker, as JR always said. It's going to be a hell of a match. Undertaker gets the victory with a tombstone pile driver in the middle of the ring to send all the fans home happy. And that's how I see the close of the show going. So those are my predictions for SummerSlam this year. If you have any feedback, any comments, you're more than welcome to leave them down there. If you disagree, agree with any of my predictions, please leave your comments. Share the video with coworkers, friends, and people who you know who like professional wrestling. And I hope to see you back next time before Night of Champions pay-per-view. Thank you for your support, and we'll see you next time.